Looking for a great four bedroom rental in St. Paul, just walking distance from St. Kate's, St. Thomas, and McAllister? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 1935 Lincoln Avenue here in St. Paul. It is of the single family house behind me. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the outside. So, here is the home itself. 1935, you can see a nice neighborhood location. A bunch of other single family houses. We're right downtown next to a bunch of universities too. McAllister, St. Thomas, St. Kate. So as far as proximity and walking distance, uh, that works as one of its main appeals. Let's go on and check out the unit. All right, so upon entering the home, come into the family room area. Very bright, large windows. It is carpeted. See, here's the main level. It splits and heads this way too. And uses a dining room, second living space. Nice mantle here. As you can see, it's, it's a huge main level. Works really well for entertaining. Now, you got the stairs that leads up. We got three bedrooms there, and then we have one on the main level. So let's check out the one on the main level first. And we can go upstairs. Here is the unit itself. Good size room. Nice big closet. Obviously, you can tell it's currently tenant occupied. And then this door right here, you'll see it on the flip side, leads to this back hallway where the uh, kitchen swings around to two. So, got two ways to get in and out of that bedroom. Let's go check out the upstairs before we go look at the kitchen. We can show you some of these bedrooms. All the bedrooms are really nice size, works really well for roommate situation here too. So just to kind of put everything into orientation, we have bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, and bedroom. Let's start by taking a look at this one. Look at that huge closet, basically spans the entire wall over there. Upstairs here is carpeted as well, which is always nice for bedrooms. Nice ceiling fan. Got windows off of two of the walls to allow in some additional sunlight. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shared bathroom up here. So here's the sink vanity. Nice granite countertops right here. Toilet. Then you got your tub shower. Little linen closet right here as well. And then here's another one of the bedrooms. This one right here is really cool because it also has a bathroom to it. So I'll show you that here as we pan around and check everything out. You can see down this way, this would be the master. You have a closet over here, and another closet over here. And a bath, a bathroom I should say, so sink vanity, and a toilet. And we do have a little nook here for some storage. One more bedroom back here. Again, as you can kind of tell, all these bedrooms, good size. This one's got dual windows again, ceiling fan. Another large closet, but no one really gets the short end of the stick when it comes to these bedrooms, all good size. All right, so upstairs again, to recap, we had the three bedrooms and the one, well, really there's two bathrooms because there's also the one off the master. So there's the half bath off that too. And then we got the fourth bedroom, which is down on the main level right here. Okay, let's go check out the kitchen next. Here's the kitchen, oven, dishwasher, gas range, plenty of cabinet space, and a fridge. And then one thing that I really like too, and we'll go end our tour by going out here, is you have the patio doors that bring you right out to this 
really cool porch area, overhang. We'll go check that out in just a little bit. This is the door that gets to that bedroom that we pointed out earlier. This is the door that goes directly out to the back if you don't want to go out through the patio. So, lastly, let's go ahead and show the downstairs. This is unfinished for the most part. I mean, it's semi-finished. So, you can see, like, it has flooring. It is usable. There's lights. Uh, they're using it more or less for storage than anything else, but you can kind of get an idea of the space down here. Right? So, got some good space. This tucks back here for a little bit of under stairs storage. And then over here on the flip side, we have the washer and dryer unit with a sink. And then just even a little bit more storage back here with some shelving and your heating. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, show the outside. I'm gonna go grab my shoes real quick. The beauty of shooting during the spring is all the, uh, you know, puddles, melting snow. It's not something I would choose to do without shoes. <laughs> so, here we are. Again, this is easily my favorite part. It's this really cool outside area, especially in the summer. Just to hang out, entertain. Great for summer evenings out here in St. Paul. There's that other access door. There's your AC. You do have a little patio area back here. And this leads back to the garage. Garage is included with the property. It's a two car. Got this little car pad right here too. You could park another one. The street parking really isn't too much of a problem out here either. But, and yeah, here's your two car garage. So, very nice. There goes that squirrel. All right, well that concludes the tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.